The baby jaguar gets born after about three months of gestation inside its mother's belly. At first, the cub is not very impressive. It weighs about two pounds, has no eye vision, can't walk, no teeth, weak claws, no hopes and dreams. What it has is an incredible genetic makeup inherited from its parents. One that will make it one day the king of the jungle. The baby jaguar has a strong relationship with its mother. She provides the highest quality milk in the market, rich with protein, fat, and antibodies that strengthen the cub's immune system. At about 10 to 14 days, the cub starts to gain eye vision and then has a better understanding of the world it lives in. Typically speaking, they get born in a litter of two cubs, which gives them the opportunity to learn from each other. The siblings play, wrestle, and groom each other. They learn together how to hone and enhance their coordination and physical skills. At about two to three months, their teeth start growing into the lethal weapons they are. At that point, milk is no longer enough to sustain their strong bodies. Therefore, they start transitioning towards solid food consumption. It is now time for the kids to learn every conceivable skill set to become a top tier predator in the jungle. The mother becomes the kid's mentor and brings them to expeditions where they can learn how to hunt, ambush, and take down everything with a heartbeat in its habitat. If the father seems to be conspicuously absent from the kid's life, that's because it sure as hell is. After all, the male jaguar is extremely solitary. The only time it hangs around other jaguars is for mating purposes. It gets the mother pregnant and boom, it's gone. Male jaguars are the original founders of getting out to buy some milk. After all, jaguars are genetically conditioned to be solitary and secluded animals, which is why once the cub becomes more independent, typically after 18 to 24 months, it will leave its mother and start solidifying its own territories. At its youth, the jaguar reaches the peak of power, speed, and predatory excellence. They weigh 200 pounds, each one of them overloaded with exquisite killing instinct. They're endowed with potent muscular bodies, razor-sharp claws, and teeth capable of inflicting an unforgiving bite force of 1,500 pounds per square, making it the strongest bite force among big cats and the sixth strongest one among all living animals. The word jaguar comes from the indigenous word jaguar, which means he who kills with one leap, and all other animals in their ecosystem will know that to be a fact. All observable evidence seems to indicate that it is the real king of the jungle. Not lions, because first of all, there are no lions in the jungle. And second, contrary to jaguars, lions' alleged royalty is casually and regularly challenged by other animals. Due to their formidable attributes, jaguars hold two titles. The first one is that of an apex predator, which means that they are the most effective killers in their ecosystem and have no natural predators. The second title is that of a keystone species, which refers to animals who have a disproportionately large impact on their habitat. Their presence and absence can affect in major ways the structure and functioning of their entire ecosystem. For instance, the jaguar's presence in the jungle controls the population size of prey, regulates overgrazing and maintains biodiversity in its habitat. Kind of a CEO of the jungle. Jaguars are often confused with other animals, namely cheetahs and leopards. Although they have few physical similarities with cheetahs, they vastly differ from each other. Jaguars are much bigger, stronger, bolder than cheetahs. Jaguars have dark flower-like shape markings called rosettes on their bodies, whereas cheetahs have round or oval-shaped markings on theirs. Also, cheetahs are far from being apex predators, kings of their dominion. In short, that's a jaguar. And that's a cheetah. <coughs> Leopards are a bit more similar to jaguars. A practical way to differentiate them is through their markings. Jaguars have inner spots in their markings, while leopards don't. Jaguars are also bigger and stronger than them. Comparing leopards with jaguars is a little bit like comparing Thanos with and without the stones. These predators are effective hunters with a killing success rate of 50 to 60%. Their muscular bodies allow them to take down brolic prey like caimans, anacondas, and deers. They demonstrate a stubborn bite grip that allows them to crack through stuffs as solid as a turtle shell. 
Their formidable abilities to swim, run, climb trees makes them a multi-element Pokemon that makes land, water and air unsafe for all other animals. They are conditioned to stay alone, and the only time they entangle with other jaguars is to make babies. And because they learned from the worst dads in anime history, they will leave about a second after the job is done. In its old age, the jaguar remains a powerhouse to be reckoned with. They spent a large portion of their lives in solitude and seclusion, marking their territories and making it crystal clear to all other predators that they have no business roaming around their side of the jungle. By its old days, the wise beast gained an advanced knowledge of its territory and understands the most efficient places to find prey. The longer they mark their territories, the less tempted the other predators are to step in their part of the kingdom. At this point of their lives, they're pretty much the godfathers of the jungle. Despite their power and influence in their ecosystem, they avoid at all costs competition with younger jaguars and refrain from stepping on their territories. Naturally, as the jaguar grows older, it focuses its attention on smaller prey rests more and spends the last chapters of its life in dignity and relative food abundance compared to other predators in the world. 